what's up everyone we got some pickups to show you from over the past few weeks maybe it's been about a month I usually try to gather up as much as I can before I show anything that way it's not like just little bits and pieces at a time um, this one's pretty good um, first off I got this actually came into work I work at Game Exchange, and uh, just so happened to be the first one that came in, and I got a Nintendo Switch. I had pre-ordered this before it came out at GameStop, but I canceled my pre-order because I felt like, you know, I didn't give enough love to my Wii U, and Breath of the Wild, you know, I might as well just keep it. And at the time, I just, you know, didn't really have the funds for it, so. Got my tax return back, so I used that. Plus, I had a discount, and it was used, but the guy brought it back because he only got it for Breath of the Wild, and he beat it. So, so that's all it was used for. So he decided, I don't need this anymore, I only needed it for Breath of the Wild, and I'm done with it. So... That's mine, and I only paid two seventy six, so pretty good deal. It's still got all the plastic and everything. They kept the box, and so I'm happy. Um, don't really have many games for it though. Then I also um, went on eBay and was just kind of browsing through everything, and decided, you know, I might just look at some video game collectibles because I don't do that too often. And I found a little dog plushie from Harvest Moon. This one is from Another Wonderful Life, which was one that was on, was it on the Wii or was it on, yeah, I think it was, it's either on the Wii or it was on GameCube, I can't remember. Those I didn't like as much as the other Harvest Moons, but they were still fun. Um... Next, obviously, every Monday I go to Goodwill because um, around here, I don't know, Mondays, I always have Mondays off, and Goodwill tends to be, uh, tends to kind of like restock everything on Monday, it seems like, at least my Goodwill does the best, the best things are on Monday mornings. So I always go into Monday morning because I don't know, I never know what I'm going to find, and this Goodwill is actually pretty good. Um, the ones I've been to in the past where I used to live weren't so much, but did pick up some Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo games. They were all five bucks a piece. Some of them aren't, you know, are just worth five bucks, but, you know, they're super clean. So I got Home Alone 2. Heard that one's a terrible game, but... I don't really play the retro games that much, to be honest. Animaniacs. These are all, like, super, super clean. Tiny Toon Buster Busts Loose. We got... This one, actually, I think is worth about, like, $15, but... 1943 Battle of Midway. And we got Tiger Heli. So, pretty good. Um, the other day I decided I was going to go into GameStop, and I had heard about this game, and it seemed pretty pretty interesting. So, sometimes I like puzzle games, but I didn't have anything for the Switch. So, I got Puyo Puyo Tetris. And this one's, the first edition is the limited edition that comes with a keychain. And they don't know if they're going to um, release them again with the keychains or if it's just the first time they release them. But it comes in this kind of cool box there. And then there's there's two little keychains in here. I haven't played I haven't played my Switch yet because I'm still playing Persona 5, and I told myself I won't start playing anything else until I'm done with it. But, pretty cute. 
Um, I definitely wanted the limited edition keychain. Um, so that's pretty cool. That is the only Switch game I've got so far. Breath of the Wild, I've got on Wii U. I don't feel the need for it on, um, on the Switch. Although, I do... I do kind of want the Binding of Isaac. That looks really cool. I know it's supposed to be really difficult, but I like a challenge, so I might have to pick that up at some point. Not right now, though. I uh, also picked up at GameStop. Actually, no, I got that at Walmart. GameStop I went to afterwards, and I picked up Little Nightmares because I had seen... Um, like IGN posted a trailer on it and I was like this looks really interesting it's like a it's a platformer actually I've already beat it but it's only like three and a half hours long but it's really cool um, if you're not into like collectibles and stuff I would just get the downloaded version because it's maybe like twenty twenty five dollars whereas the limited edition that comes with the cool figure show you guys what all it has here. It's actually, it's got the game itself and it comes with a soundtrack and it's got stickers. Now this one was the last one um, at Good or GameStop. Where the heck am I? <laughs> um, and then there's a poster. This is kind of a creepy, like, Tim Burton feel to it. Let's see, those are... You're, he plays this little, this little guy in the raincoat here that's kind of, like, stuck in a dream, like in a nightmare. And uh, the world is a lot bigger than he is, so it's, like, all these giants. There's, like, clay animation and... Play animation can be kind of, kind of creepy, um, but it's like a side scroller platformer. Um, it puzzles you. You can't fight, but you move. You move the the little guy around, and you can move objects around, um, kind of like a puzzle to unlock other places and um, to get to where you're going. You have to kind of hide in the shadows away from all the bad guys and stuff. And there's the figure. Now all you've got with you is just a little lighter. That's all you've got. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just do a review on it later, but yeah, it was it was a good game and I would recommend it. A lot of those games usually they're just way too short, and um, which I mean it was short, but I I enjoyed it, all that I played of it. So also went into a kind of like an indoor flea market. We've got a lot of those around here. Outdoor flea markets are all in Oklahoma, and on the weekends and I work weekends. So, um, but I picked up a GameCube game. It was only it was five dollars and. I guess this is worth like seven or eight dollars. I've never played it, but it's Street Racing Syndicate on GameCube and it's complete. So. Also on eBay, I won a bid on Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories on PlayStation 2. I didn't have this in my collection, so. I'm not really a big Kingdom Hearts fan. My sister is. I prefer just like Final Fantasy, but which also this came into work too. And it's uh, Final Fantasy Remastered, but this is the limited edition. And I've already got it on PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 4. But this, the case is actually an art book. And I couldn't pass it up since Final Fantasy X is probably probably my third favorite game of all time. So 
Uh, so yeah, I had to. Also got Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on GameCube. Um, this came in to work too and figured it's only seven dollars. I guess I'll go ahead and get it. I, I know it's you can play with more people, but I play everything alone, so hopefully it's okay alone. But yeah. And this was actually a freebie. Um, sometimes at work, people, uh, if if a game's like too scratched or something, they we won't take them. But some people just they they're like, we'll just throw it away or take it home or do something with it because I don't want it and somebody I guess didn't didn't want this because I mean it's got scratches but it's not like I don't think it's unplayable but um, yeah it's it's got quite a few scratches and um, I didn't have this so just went ahead and took it because I didn't want it so also went to Goodwill the other day and picked up two Wii games. They were two dollars a piece and I didn't have them yet so got D Blob and Mario Super Sluggers. Both complete two dollars a piece. Why not? And today the last part of my pickups I picked up Su Suikoden. I don't know how you really say it. Um, tactics on PlayStation 2. It's a tactical RPG, which I've never played a tactical RPG. Some people really don't like them, but it looked interesting to me, so I mean, it's only 10 bucks. Why not? And then we also got this in. We got Tales of Vesperia, and I've been wanting to get this for a while, so I went ahead and got it. And all those are complete, because I'm kind of if they're not complete, I'm not going to buy them. <laughs> and that is it for my pickups. And I probably won't do another pickups video for probably another month or so. Um, I need to stop spending so much money. Although I will be picking up a couple of new releases in the next couple of weeks. we got Prey coming out. Actually, it came out tonight. Um, and then there's... Guardians of the Galaxy came out on Tuesday, the Telltale series, but I still haven't even started uh, the third season of The Walking Dead one that I bought like a month or two ago. Uh, just still playing Persona 5. I just hit my 70 hour mark last night, so still got probably about 40 hours left. <laughs> but it shouldn't take too long as long as I keep playing every day. Um, I just don't always have the time, and there are other things I have to do, too, so it's life. Um, but once I'm done with that, I'm going to play Super Star Wars um, Return of the Jedi, because that's our game club's game of the month, and got video games monthly coming in maybe either tomorrow or the next day. So until then, I will see you guys later.